Hi, what's up, Aquarius? This is Tyler DeSantis, and this is your reading for. Let me turn this down. <laughs> this is your reading for um, the end of February as your bonus. And the first two cards out are the Eight of Cups with the Tower. So you're going on this like adventure to get this final cup, whether that cup be like love, most of the time it's love when it has to do with emotions, um, or it might be like you finding the other part of yourself that needs love, or like you finally having the strength to like love yourself. So then it's like breaking down this tower or whatever you have going on, like most of the time it's like people have codependency issues, they have all these walls up and they don't know how to love somebody, so it's like really trying to get to the bottom of your subconscious and loving yourself. And I think like um, people as a collective are like going through this, that energy, um, but Aquarius is pretty hard. Okay, so stop focusing on the bad and focus on the good. Um, there are lots of things that I'd be happy for and celebrate. And if we're focused on the bad, we can't allow this new energy to come in and be like, you know, like, if you got good shit going on, more good shit's gonna happen to you. That's how karma works. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? So if you're always worried about the bad, more bad shit's gonna happen. It's just how life is. That's the law of attraction. Ace of Cups. So it is, um, so we all have these like divine messages that are being like pushed through to us, through our dreams, through our subconscious, through whatever right now. And it's really important that we get them back out to the collective. So it's like a drop merging back into the um, ocean. It is like you merging back into this flow of being an individual, but also like very much connected with the other people and like building new friendships, new bonds based on like your true self and that is the side of who you was in this old age of Pisces. The lights just flickered it weird. Okay. Okay, so the King of Wands with the Four of Swords. So right now, you are not really in a place to move forward. You need to take a rest or a break because you're going to be having some divine energy coming in soon. And like this card to me is like a divine will of heaven. Mm -hmm. So to me, this is like a couple. So if you've been dealing with a... Um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Now, both of these were facing down. So, I don't know what's going on with that, but it seems like these two are together. Um, I was kind of thinking, like, um, even though water is, we think of the seas and stuff, I'm kind of thinking like the cosmos a little bit and i'm thinking of like you know mother earth and like father sky that's kind of what it's showing to me but we also have the king of wands over here so it's almost like you know sky water earth and you also too have okay so you have judgment with this ten of wands which we've been carrying a lot of emotional baggage i think for um like our parents' generation and all these generations before us, and it just keeps getting dumped back onto us. I guess because of like, you can pass things generationally. And I think, like, definitely for our parents' generation, it's been like a lot of divorce, a lot of codependency, a lot of bullshit. So it's like all that's getting passed to us, and we're having to like reteach people or like re, um, like help society understand like relationships with that's by like healing ourselves so that's where this justice card comes in and then you have okay so we have this like five of pentacles up and down so maybe with this justice judgment and this ten of wands you also feel like left out in the cold and i feel like a lot of people or it could be like the winter is coming 
like there's gonna be it's gonna be a winter like the mm, okay we're gonna go back so the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step so what steps do you need to take now so you can get out of this cold energy and move into this higher divine like warm energy because you ultimately so you ultimately hold your own destiny and temperance is about like mixing two things together like merging this gold and silver this two different ages this two different whatever the blood and the water or whatever um so with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like you hold your destiny. You only you can help you ascend. Like nobody else can help you ascend. Nobody can help your spiritual purpose. You're the only person that can help you. When you decide to change yourself, like that's when things will start happening for you. So stop keeping yourself trapped in your mind because there's no reason to. And stop thinking that you need to be this martyr or this leader if you're not ready for it. Like stop trying to like lead people if you don't think that that's what you should do right now. Like or be in charge or at this group if you're not like healed within your child, I guess. And let's cut out. Nine of Wands. The battle is over. There is hope on the horizon. Um, yeah, so from here it moves into that 10 energy, which would be like moving forward and like cleaning up energy, like beginnings and endings. This is like the actual end. So at least the binding of them. We'll pull a card from you. Integration. So merging this divine feminine and this divine masculine back together and merging everyone into this subconscious or this um, collective um, union, I guess, between these two different weird sides of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Talk to you in March. Bye.